It's Saturday night with tonight's special guest, the world champion. Last year, a slip, a slide, a broken heart, and a lost crown. This year, a different Stoiko story, a healthy Elvis. A happy Elvis, and most importantly, a hungry Elvis. Elvis's pain last year was Sebastian Britton's game. He stood up and made everyone take notice. The longtime shadow skater finally found the light and became champion of Canada. Second a year ago, Marcus Christensen keeps coming back for more. His goal is to return to the podium and join Elvis and company on the Canadian world team. The men's free skate tonight. CTV Sports, Canada's figure skating network, the lights over Ottawa Valley. And the lights on inside the Ottawa Civic Center, a full house tonight for the men's free skate at the 1996 Royal Bank Canadian Figure Skating Championships. Hi, everyone. I'm Rod Black. Go back with me about nine years ago at the Canadian Championships, the last time they were held in this building. A 14-year-old came on the ice, and he finished sixth as a junior. The next year, he won the junior championship, and then, of course, he won a couple of Canadian titles along the way and became a world champion twice. That guy... Nine years ago was Elvis Stoiko, and let's face it, unless he gets locked in his dressing room tonight, he's going to win this championship. So the race is on for second and third place because those three spots will go to the world championships next month in Edmonton. Well, there have been some world championship berths gained already. The women's crown decided last night. Jennifer Robinson, the 19-year-old, full of spunk and energy, and as much as everyone wanted Jose Schmenard to do well, you had to cheer for the Windsor skater, who became the queen and will now represent Canada at the Worlds. And earlier today, Michelle Menzies and Jean-Michel Bombardier lifted everyone's spirits. Pairs champions for a second year in a row. And joining them on the world team will be Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, who came back from a devastating fall in practice yesterday to claim the second spot. They'll go to the Worlds, too. The story tonight, though, the men's free skate, and let's get right to our scene setters and our voices. Here's Dan Matheson and Barb Underhill. You can slice up this men's field any way you want, Barb, but certainly there's this huge division right between the top guy and everybody else. Elvis tonight is going to skate last year's program, not the one that he had designed for this year. Well, he came home from the NHK Championships, and he had received some criticism on the program, but more importantly, he felt that it, the music wasn't giving him any inspiration, so he came home and he decided to go back to last year's program because he felt that it hadn't reached the full potential simply because of his injury last year. Now, a lot of skaters have done this in the past, kept old programs. It doesn't seem to hurt them with the judges. No, not at all. And this is the type of program that gives you goosebumps. And he felt that the other <laughs> one didn't. Well, I'll be honest with you, Elvis always gives me goosebumps. <laughs> and we can't wait to see him in action tonight. And there he is, yeah. The king is in the house. The men's free skate to come tonight on CTV from Ottawa. He still has some time to get ready before he skates tonight in Ottawa. Elvis Stoiko behind me. I'm backstage at the Ottawa Civic Center. Welcome back to the 96 Royal Bank Canadian Championships, everyone. We have the men to come tonight. We also have some original dance to show you, and you will see the three-time Canadian dance champion Shaylin Bourne and Victor Kratz in just a few minutes. But if you talk to any skaters, even talk to Elvis about performance and going out and doing your best, many skaters will tell you that the key to the performance is actually the warm-up. And the guy that he knows is helping us out this week, our resident skating professor now in this Kellogg's Q&A. Well, hello, Professor Kurt von Browning here, and today on Kellogg's Q&A, we will discover what goes into the competitive atom, the five-minute competitive on-ice warm-up, and which I have a diagram right here. On the ice, busily moving bodies of the protons, skaters with a good warm-up, and the neutrons, skaters with a negative warm-up, are combining together. 
are being watched by the six electrons who will be electing the best skater. Now, all this comes together to create the competitive atmosphere. I think that we're all very competitive, but it's a good competitive because we're all like we're good friends. And uh, like we always chat before we go on the ice and we do have to have our space before we compete. But other than that, like on practice, we have fun and we just relax. All these busily moving bodies and confusion, you need a plan. I don't know, you try not to watch anyone else. You try to do your own thing and focus as much as possible. And you're, I don't know, you try and not look at Elvis or whoever else is doing a good triple axel here and there. Just sort of do your own, mind your own business. You really need a plan, and a well-prepared skater will have a very, uh, like a little routine. We'll do the same thing all the time, just to make sure that she doesn't have to think, and all the keywords are in place, so it becomes all automatic, and that's the way it goes the best. And after hours and hours of preparation, one of the keys to success in the competition is the successful warm-up. Okay, Here's a young couple that's been together a very long time. Megan Wing was just 11 years of age. Aaron Lowe, 12 when they first got together in Vancouver. They skated there for many years, training until 1992 when they moved to Boucherville for training purposes. And they've recently had some success. This summer they went to the Grand Prix International and placed second. And then they're also at Skate Canada where they placed tenth. And this year's rhythm for the original dance it changes every year. This year it is the Paso Doble. And it's worth 30% of the overall mark. Compulsory dances, of which they skate two, are worth 10% each. Original dance is 30, and the free dance is 50%, which we'll see tomorrow. And if you were with us for Skate Canada in Halifax, or sorry, in St. John, New Brunswick, you may remember this music and this pair. So that was a very solid, comfortable skate for them. There's not often a lot of movement in the standings and dance, but this is one area where if they want to make a move, this is the time to do it. Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe were sixth at the Canadian. <laughs> Megan is 20, Aaron is 21. They await their first set of marks called composition in the original skate. The second set of marks for presentation. And they're very respectable, 5-0 through 5-3. They're sitting at, in fifth place at this point in the competition. And the second set of marks, very much like the first set. And they are currently in first place. See, it's more. <laughs> North York Skating Club, Janet Emerson and Steve Cavanaugh. This is an all-Ontario duo. Janet Emerson is 22 from Kingston. Steve Cavanaugh, 24 from Oakville. Third of the Canadians last year and in third position now. And they'll be trying very hard during this dance to move up on Brunet and Lefebvre.
They say their heroes are Maria Osova and Alexander Zulin, and when they compete, they have this nice little mind game. They pretend they are the legendary duo. It came out a little tentatively, but then it built. Janet Emerson and Steve Cavanaugh, and lots more to come. <laughs> Throwing myself so hard over here. They're looking pretty pleased with themselves. They look extremely pleased. They realize they did it, I'm like, get control. The first set of marks are for composition. Five two, five two, five three, five two, five two, five three, five two, five two, through five four. And they had almost no reaction whatsoever. And these come up a little bit. Presentation is good. <laughs> well, Janet looks pleased. That puts them in first place. Nos prochains concurrents are our next competitors. Représentant le club de patinage artistique de La Salle and the Minto Club, Chantal Lefebvre et Michel Brunet. Here's a young couple only got together last year and spent six weeks skating together, went off to the Nations Cup, and finished seventh. So they must have thought, hey, this is pretty easy, this stuff. They've had some very early success, and all eyes have really been on this team here. They are in second place, Chantal Lefebvre, 18, and 25-year-old Michelle Brunet. Michel is skating in his backyard. He was born in all of Quebec, right across the river from Ottawa. Chantal is from Montreal. And he was so worried when he got here because he said, I just want everybody to like us, you know. He skated last year with Jennifer Boyce and they had success. And he was really concerned about that until he started getting a lot of positive feedback. And then they were second after the compulsory. And so now they're really going for it because they know they have a great shot at the world team. I love the way they're expressing this dance. He's definitely playing the dominant role here. The role of the bullfighter. What does that make Chantal? Uh, the cape, I think. <laughs> the judges will notice that or not. Very nice. It's quite amazing what this team has accomplished after only having been together since August. Chantal Lafebvre and Michelle Brunet. Officially, their training site, the Minto Skating Club, but they spend a lot of time going back and forth between Ottawa and Boucherville. They think maybe the variety of experiences, they get to see a lot of coaches, a lot of different skaters, helps them in training. And look at these marks. Very nice. Michelle showed a bit of concern when he was stepping off the ice. Like maybe it wasn't exactly the best they could have skated, but these are nice marks. 
Well, they're your leaders. Their marks for presentation are very strong, up to five points six. And they've got first places across the board. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't look quite as concerned, though. <laughs> well, he's got the number one finger up. A couple more teams, though, could, uh, could mount a challenge. Julie Lozano is 21 from Ottawa, so she's skating in her backyard as well. Juan Carlos Noria, 28-year veteran, 28 years of age. But he is a veteran. Originally from Venezuela. Seventh coming into this part of the competition. And this is also a brand new partnership. But they're very pleased with the results so far. And like LeFay and Brunet, their intention is to imitate the bullfight. They got together sort of accidentally. Marina Zueva brought one in to help partner Julie through some dance tests. So they did that and then they decided to give it a try. He's also an artist in his spare time. And Julie's here at her first Canadians. such a short time. One thing I notice is they lack a little bit of flow. But a nice skate. Julie Lazan and Juan Carlos Noria. I'll let you know how strong the dance field is, though, to see this this pair in seventh position coming into the original skate. Well, there's been a real shakeup in the dance world here in Canada. It was like a mix and match uh, party this summer. All the different partners changing and going to different partners and uh, quite a different dance scene this year. Well, the judges didn't like that performance as much as the fans. Some four nines on the board, a couple of four eights. And I think a lot of that is simply the depth of the flow, the quality of the edges, and the speed. Well, the marks are good enough for fifth place at this moment. Our next competitor, representing the Barry and Zora figure skating club, Kimberly Curry and Paul Matheson. You hear that, Barb? There's a Matheson here in the competition. <laughs> Good-looking guy, isn't he? This is Kimberly Curry. She's from Barrie, Ontario. Paul is from Stratford. He's 21. She is, too. Tenth at the Canadians last year. And currently in sixth place. And you don't have a lot of time to impress the judges in the original dance. The clock kicks down to two minutes, and that's it. And it's a lot like a compulsory dance. It's not a free dance. They cannot lift. Um, they have to design this dance, given the rhythm, every year. And it should go in a pattern. They're not allowed to cross, cross the long axis of the rink.
Oh dear, unfortunate way to finish the program. Kimberly Curry and Paul Matheson. Kimberly and Paul train at the Kitchener Waterloo Skating Club. I don't think I mentioned Paul's no relation, by the way. <laughs> the mark for the Dutch pool of Kimberly Curry and Paul Matheson. Mark for composition. She's looking a little bit concerned four nine, here. Four eight, five zero. Four seven, four well, Kimberly seven, had a very nine, puzzled look on her face when she slipped right at the end zero, as if she didn't know what had happened and how it had happened. The mark for presentation. Marks get up to five. Four eight, four eight, five one, four eight. And for presentation, four eight, up to nine, five point one. Four nine, five zero, four seven. Okay, Our next competitor, Le Crochet Mokulon, représentant les plus de patinage artistique. And here's the reason an awful lot of the 10,000 people at the Ottawa Civic Center are here today to watch the three-time defending Canadian champions Shailene Bourne and Victor Kratz. They've had a little bit of a bumpy year this year. They changed coaches early on in the year from Komova and Panamarenko and are training part-time in Lake Placid with Natalia Dubova. take risks. So they have made some changes. Well, they are fun to watch, aren't they? Smooth as silk. Now, Shay Lynn has done nothing but win. She was the junior champion in 92, three times the senior champion, and she's still only 19 years old. going up on the board and they are outstanding up to 5.8 for composition they are the champions and still the leaders of this composition their second set of marks also outstanding so Shay Lynn, the pride of Chatham, and Victor Kratz from Vancouver, although he was born in Berlin, are on top of this competition exactly where everyone figured they would be. So the standings look like this. Shay Lynn Bourne and Victor Kratz on top. Followed by Chantal Lefebvre and Michel Brunet, Janet Emerson and Steve Cavanaugh in third place. Megan Wing and Aaron Law are in fourth position. Remember, we still have to free skate the golf. Jose Pichet, Pascal Denis, and you can see the rest of 
about the story in terms of the original dance. The free dance will be tomorrow. Now here's Rod with our leaders. Yeah, I don't think anybody's too surprised in here. Um, and I'm certain you guys aren't surprised either. Uh, you know, I know you have to perform it. Look at some of these uh, notes that you get sent on the ice. Dear Shailen and Victor, I like your choreography. You guys are great. And I think everybody felt the same way. You've got a lot of gifts here that you're going to have to take back. How does it feel? Wonderful. And it is a surprise every time this, this happens. I mean, this many people come to support us. It's incredible. Three-time Canadian champion seeking a fourth. Does it get tougher each year? Does it get better each year? What is the feeling? You, you guys are so much more poised than you were three years ago. You're growing and developing um, like champions. What's it like, Victor? I think it gets easier. The performing part gets much easier because we grow as the seasons go by and we have some wonderful possibilities of doing shows in the States and in Canada. And I think it's, it just becomes so much better each time we perform in front of people. And the magic is still there. You know, you think you dance all the time together, but you still are the perfect pair. It, it's just the connection Victor and I have with each other and with the crowd. I think that's amazing. We really try to light them up, like always. We just want to make them the stars, and we go out there. And like this program, it's so much better than it was the last competition. We worked so hard at it, and now we just want to show the people. Well, good luck in the free skate. The Paso Doble never looked better, Senorita and Mr. Matador. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. The leaders, after the original dance and the dance free skate, goes tomorrow on CTV. Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz.